so the problem is it's a it's Bruce Lee's writing and it's like kind of corny, kind of cheesy, but like kind of fun. It's an easy watch. Okay. It's an easy watch. Here's the warrior. Uh, it's an HBO show originally. I think they canceled it. They shelved it, but I think Netflix might actually bring it back because they bought it. Okay. They bought it and they might end up bringing it back if it's popular. Thing is, Joe Taslam is the GOAT. I love him. The main character is fine, even though I do like him because his name is Assam. So it seems, it always feels like they're saying Hassan. Um, Young Jun is great. I hate the white lady. I hate Joanna Vanderham. I'm sorry. She got to go. I just, I, since day one, I just don't know what it is. I hate her. Um, but that's not who I'm talking about. So a lot of the white dudes in the show are just straight up xenophobic, very racist, right? I mean, he's the goat. Hun Li, uh, Wang Chao is the goat, like straight up coolest character. Love him. He's the best. Um, but anyway, the problem with the show is this guy, Dan Leary, played by Dean S. Jagger. He is like the clan leader, basically. He's not like the clan leader, really. He is the labor leader who is like militantly anti-Chinese. Uh, He's like militantly anti-Asian in general because it's like the classic, oh, they took her gerbs type shit. The problem is, even though his face is doing a little Charlie Kirk right here, he actually, he actually looks so sick in the show. And he is so hot in the show. And honestly, I, I, like, I, I found myself real conflicted based on a real person, by the way, actual labor leader who was racist during Chinese diaspora in California. I forgot the dude's real name. Okay. But it's an issue, bro. It's an issue. You can't be that sick. It's like, bro, your bitch too bad. Your weed too loud. Your racism too powerful. Like you can't do this. You can't do this. Your racism too good. You call every white person hot? I literally just called a white person not hot before this. And it's kind of crazy because it's like, this dude is like a really good person and also extremely racist and like a really bad person at the same time. Because he's like, cares for the poor, cares for the working class, but just cannot in his mind shake the notion that like Chinese people are also being exploited. <laughs> it's just like, he just can't like, he just does not see Chinese people as human beings. He's like everything. If he lived in a world where he never met a Chinese person, he'd be the nicest guy in the village. Okay. But like he saw one Chinese guy and was like, I want to kill every Asian person on the planet what the fuck is going on? And it's such a, it's such an odd, I mean, I like the writing because like you don't normally have like an objectively openly racist dude who is then also shown as like a good person. Oftentimes you'll be like, yeah, racism is bad, right? Or sometimes people will make a, a person be racist and say racism is good and make the racist person good. It's just like, I don't know. I just, I found a very, I found him a weird and interesting and interestingly cool, I guess. Um, but we'll see progressive except for Palestine, except is China. Yeah. He's like, he's like an Israeli socialist. Just like, he's like, yeah, no permanent ethnic cleansing for all Palestinians, except like, you know, I want to uplift the working class, uh, both internationally and here at home. And I'm working at a soup kitchen. I, um, and like, he's also pro, uh, abolition of slavery too, that, which is really funny. He literally is just like an Israeli labor social or like, uh, Isla Israeli socialist <laughs> early on Israeli socialist. <laughs> um, he's based off of Dennis Kearney. Oh, damn, he ugly as hell, bro. Look at this fucking ugly ass. 
Yeah. He is incredibly racist, but also at the same time, the show made him incredibly cool. Like, he is so fucking strong. Uh, anyway, uh, whatever. That was just, like, totally random, but I was thinking about that a lot. But, yeah, like I said, Warriors like, a good show. There's not a lot of... There's not a lot of shows out there that are good shows to watch with your dad or if you're a real crazy one with your, uh, with your uncle, you know, let's say you're a, you're an uncle nephew. You got an uncle nephew dynamic. That's like on shaky ground. This is a good show you can watch with them. Cause there's so much Kung Fu. There's a lot of fucking too. I don't weirdly enough. I don't really care about the sex scenes all that much. I don't think they're, they're a little, I'm not like a zoomer by any means, as you guys know, but I, I, I do find like the sex seems to be like a bit much, like it's not very tasteful. I don't think, but the Kung Fu is great. The sex scenes like come across as unnecessary almost. I don't know how else to describe it. Where like, they're not. They're rarely ever, they're rarely ever advancing the plot. And it just feels like the show is basically going, here's a sex scene for you, please go ahead. And I find that really interesting because like sex scenes are great. I don't have an issue with it. And they can be really fucking hot too. <laughs> and for w some weird reason, their sex scenes are not hot. I don't know. I, I don't know why. It is very gratuitous. It does feel like they just kind of peppered it in there just to keep people's attention on the show. Maybe. Yeah, he's just like, yeah, please pay attention to the show. Here's a sex scene. <laughs> um, something along those lines. But overall, Andrew Koji's training for the show. Uh, oh, overall, dragon. it's it's great. Great show. Good kung fu. Fun. Uh, a lot of racism. A lot of politics. A lot of sex. And uh, that's it. And then um, woke up and I worked out this morning. And uh, yeah, I want to get I want to get this dude's body. This is what I need. Crab, spider, and they're good for all over body conditioning. And this guy's British. Flexibility as well. Flexibility is important. The thing that helped change my life Ew. in terms of turning kicks, you're just tapping this, like that. One, two, three, four, five. Make, try and do your best. Dude, what the fuck? Bro, even, what do you mean? They're even outsourcing our Asians to England? Like, what the fuck? We have enough Asians here. Why are we even losing? Why are our Asians losing fucking roles to British guys? What the hell? This is why I'm a fan of the Dennis Kearney character. Folks! <laughs> They're stealing our jobs, the British. We must put an end to that. Yeah, he's dope. Head, hip, and heel in one line. Boom, boom. Once you get to it, you can just snap it out. Uh, we're doing uh, slow kicks. Doing slow kicks will help keep your form and structure, your muscle conditioning for all the small little muscles that you use when you're doing kicking stuff. Anyway, it's cool.